The following podcast contains spoilers and adult language. Listener discretion is advised. Hey, showdowners. Welcome back. We're still live here at Horror Hound in Indianapolis, Indiana, Indianapolis's largest horror convention. And it is an honor to be joined by the man, Mr. Candyman himself, hey. Tony Todd. Tony, how are you? I'm great. I'm here in Nap Town, and I'm still awake. And I really like your shirt. Oh, thank you, man. Uh, yeah, I collect t-shirts. It's a good thing about being an actor. I get to travel the world. I get to take bits and pieces of the things I like. But if you check this out, I also collect watches, right? That's a Modern Times watch with the late, great Charlie Chaplin. One of the really? Generations and heroes. Yeah. My, my, my home comedy club in here in Indianapolis, I'm a comedian, uh-huh. Crackers. Crackers. Our logo is Charlie Chaplin. Nice. And he's our unofficial mascot. Yeah, I remember you telling me you're a comedian. Right? Absolutely. I just, it's hard to tell. Budding filmmaker. Yep. To all you showrunners, people, I'm pointing to all the people it takes to make up things and make it great. Uh, now our listeners want to know one thing. Yeah. Um, I mean, you, you've been the candy man. You made one of the best uh, cameo appearances in history in Final Destination. Uh, I remember watching it and being shocked during the movie. Um, if you had to, for 365 days, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, either have a popcorn kernel stuck in your tooth or wear flip flops, which would you choose? Well, I think flip flops are like an item from below the ground. It's an item from hell. One of the most hellish things I ever heard is a mall where you just the sound of a hundred people flip flopping along. Okay. So I guess I would take the kernel of corn in my teeth, but that would be a, the lesser of the two annoyances. Absolutely. You're 100% right. Flop, 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 flop. I heard a woman running at the flip flop twice. It's, it's awful. <laughs> and the little middle toe <laughs> thing, oh, who puts that on a shoe? And like, you know, it makes the toe all crusty and whatnot. I'd it's rather like, have the gout. I'd, ra- I'd rather have the shits. <laughs> <laughs> Last question. Who wins a Keep fight? Clean, Who wins a fight between a lion and a grizzly bear? That's a tough one. Lions are ferocious, but they're single-minded. They're one-minded thing. If they can't go for the kill, they're not going to die. But they may not run away. But they just may give the bear an opportunity to get wrestling with it. You know what I mean? Grizzlies. I think I would be more f- afraid of the of the grizzly bear. Because it's so big. They're like 600 pounds, man. They got oh, one walls. Yeah. Boom. It's like facing George Foreman before he invented the grill. You know? <laughs> Boom. But Ali handled it. So <laughs> That is amazing. Thank you so much. Thank for the- What is the best podcast in the world? Yours. There it is. The Showdown Podcast. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk to you next time, guys. One of the best in the world, which is called... The showdown. The showdown. Get the low down on showdown. I could die now. The showdown podcast with Corey and Vic. A debate on what movie is better. Corey's choice versus Vic's choice. They each plead their case and try to destroy the others. It's a combat of subjective opinion. I'm Brad Scott, your impartial judge. And as always, my say is final.